Hey guys, welcome to the Book Smoke. So I have a book haul for you today. I have five books. Um, I have two which I bought for myself from W. H. Smith, and then I have three that I got from somewhere else, and I'll get to that in a bit. So the first book I got, I saw this on uh, Rath's Queen, Rath's Queen's channel, and her name's Erin. She's a good friend of mine now. I'll leave her link in the description so you can go check her out because she's awesome. Um, and this is the the Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman. She recently received this from uh, Tor, from Tor Books for review. And it's basically, on the top it says, One Spy, One Dangerous mi Book, One Deadly Mission. So it's like this girl that works for this secret organisation. And there's this book I think she has to deliver or she finds. And it's dangerous and it, can, it puts her life in jeopardy. But yeah, I've just heard it's a really good book. And the cover's so simplistic, but so beautiful. And the spine's like bright gold, which is very garish, but I like it anyway. So that's that one. Uh, the second book I picked up, I've seen this prop it up everywhere as well on Booktube, is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. And this also has a very bright cover. And the inside pages are orange. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, and this is about... There's something that happens. This famous actor dies whilst performing a play. Um, and it says, 20 years later, Kirsten, an actress in the Travelling Symphony, performed Shakespeare in the settlements that have grown up since the collapse. But then her newly hopeful world is threatened. If civilization was lost, what would you preserve? And how far would you go to protect it? And I've just heard really good things about this. So I'm excited to get to it. Then, like I said, I picked up three other books, and these are all from a pound shop, which in the UK is a shop where everything is a pound. And um, usually, whenever I go in there, I, I have a look anyway. And most of the time, they don't have great books. But this time I went in there, and they had some that I really wanted. So I picked up three, and they're all hardcover. <coughs> so the first one I got is... My Dad's a Birdman, Birdman, and this is by David Almond, and it has an absolutely gorgeous cover. And when you take the dust jacket off, it's got these feathers underneath, and this is gorgeous. Yeah, and this is a kid's book about, um, it's a kid's illustrated book about um, the human Birdman competition or something like that. And I just thought the illustrations were absolutely beautiful. And I couldn't believe it was in the pound shop for a pound. So yeah, I got that one. And it looks gorgeous. I then, from the pound shop, I don't normally pick up crime slash... Yeah, I like crime books. But this was in the pound shop. It was a pound for a hardcover. It's normally twelve ninety nine, So I was like, hey... I'm going to get it. And it's Where the Dead Lay by David Levien. And like I said, hardcover in the pound shop. I'm not going to pass that up. And, yeah. I'll read you the back because the synopsis is shorter. So it says, Burr edged closer. What stared, what stared up at him from the ground made him go cold. Death, still and final. The victim was a fighter, but strength wasn't enough to save him from this gruesome end. The missing are two well-paid private investigators who vanish on a confidential job. The family is formidable, crazy, deadly, and will stop at nothing to make a mark. The investigator is Frank Burr, haunted by an unspeakable loss, avenging his friend's death and close to becoming the hunted. Can Burr track down the killers before they add him to their hit list? So I just thought it sounded really interesting, and it's hardcover, and it was a pound. And the last book in this haul was also a pound from the pound shop, and it's originally eighteen ninety nine, and it's Chasing the Devil by Tim Butcher, and this is about. It's a very long synopsis on the front, in on the inside cover, but it's basically, this guy travels from Sierra Leone to Liberia, to um, discover whether the devils of war still, still exist. Um, and yeah, it's just like a travel book, like it, it documents his travels um, and who and the people and the things he encounters along the way. 
And I thought it sounded really good. And this fits in with my more adult fiction this year for my 2015 reading goals. So yeah, I'm excited to get this one. And it actually has a really nice cover. And it's like a papery cover, if you can hear it. So yeah, I thought that looked really good as well. So yeah, that's my book haul for you today. Sorry it's so short. I've only got five books today. But uh, like I said, I will leave Erin's link below, Rath's Green. Um, yes, and I will see you again later. If you like this video, please like. If you wish, you may subscribe. And goodbye.